know. Today is her day. But she's not here. I wanted to do this video today because today is Mother's Day. This is the sixth Mother's Day that I've gone through without my mom. For those of you who this is your first Mother's Day without her, I think that the very first one is the hardest and if you're like me I oftentimes dread this day because she's not here and for me this day is hard one of the things that I normally do around Thursday, at least Friday before Mother's Day is I have to get off social media. And I say that because at least by Friday that's when you normally start seeing the Happy Mother's Day posts going up and all of the pictures and everyone celebrating their mom. And don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. I never feel like, you know, I wish someone else's mom was not here. That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is that it makes me sad that I can't celebrate my mom because she's still here. I can celebrate, but it's not the same with her not physically being here, you know, with all of the Mother's Day dinners and, you know, you're going by the house, hanging out, having dinner or taking mom to dinner and showering her with gifts and love and that's what I miss. So, I just get off of, mainly it's Facebook because I don't do a whole lot of social media. Um, that's pretty much it. Other than, of course, YouTube. I have an Instagram, but Instagram account, but I don't use that much at all. So I just usually get off, and then that way I don't have to, I don't have to see it. Um, most of the time, it's usually kind of subsided by Monday, you know. But that's just one of the things that I do to help me get through this weekend because although my mom has been gone for five years because she transitioned in March of 2016 you know Mother's Day was just a couple of months later Mother's Day and her birthday so it's May it's just really really hard for me Another thing that I do to help me get through this weekend is I leave the Mother's Day shopping to my husband. Uh, my mother-in-law is, we are so blessed that she's still here. I love her tremendously. But this is one time of the year that I have to leave the Mother's Day shopping to my husband because it makes me sad because
because I can't buy a card for my mom. I can't buy a Mother's Day gift for my mom. And again, don't get me wrong, I love my mother-in-law so much. But I appreciate my husband in that he understands that and he's very sensitive to this time of year and how I feel. One thing that I do love about this time of year is that my mother-in-law purchased, years ago she purchased two red rose bushes and she said one represented her and the other represented my mom and those two rose bushes they are so special to me and they always bloom in May and as you can see they are absolutely beautiful and you know it's just a sweet representation of her and my mom so I always look forward to my rose bushes blooming every year and it's always in time for Mother's Day and my mom's birthday so that's so that's so sweet and it just it makes me smile But for those of you that have lost your mom and you are really, really struggling on today, do what you need to do to make sure you're okay. And what you need to do to get through today. Don't worry about trying to please everybody or Everybody is going to be expecting you to be there or show up for dinner or do what you have to do to make sure that you're okay. If you feel like you want to cry, get you a good old cry out because I promise you just doing that and allowing yourself to have that release, it's going to make you feel better even if it's momentarily. Allow yourself to cry. Allow yourself to be angry, to be sad. Allow all, all of those emotions because it's natural. You know, if you want to sit and reminisce and look at pictures and, you know, videos or whatever you have. I know sometimes I look at pictures and pictures of my mom and I actually have a few videos on my phone where I see her and I can hear her voice. You know, and I will admit, sometimes I have to be prepared to, okay, can I handle hearing her voice today? And some days I can, and some days, you know, I know, no, it's not, it's not the time to play that video today. It's a bit much. But just make sure that you take care of you. You're not going to forget about her. But just embrace those moments that you can reminisce and look at the pictures and just remember all all of the good times you know it'll it'll get better but this mother's day is especially especially hard like i said i don't wish i don't wish you know ill will on anybody else's mom now i will tell you the truth i have had the thought before and i probably said this before I have had the thought before, why you take my mama? Because I can think of a whole bunch of other mamas that some of them ready to go on and be with the Lord. And they still here, just like my dad. My dad has been so ready. He was ready long before my mom to go be with Jesus. But that was not his will. He came and got my mama first. So all I really wanted to say today is for those of the mothers that are out there, Happy Mother's Day. And for those of us who are having it hard today, missing our mamas, 
I just want you to know from me, someone who knows your pain, who knows your hurt, who can relate to your brokenness, who can relate to your emptiness, who can relate to that void being in your life, who can relate to that feeling that your world has come to a complete stop. While everyone else around you, they're still doing their thing and life goes on, you feel like your world has come to a complete stop. how you feel but I want you to know on today that we are going to make it we have to we have to we get up take that deep breath just exhale square your shoulders Take on your day. Put one foot in front of the other and take on your day. We can't stop. Yes, we can grieve. Yes, we can have days that we feel sad, that we cry, that we're angry, that we have all this, this just gamut of emotions that's just flooding through us, but you can't not stop. And if your mom was anything like my mom, she wouldn't want you to stop. You've got to keep moving. You've got to keep going. Most of all, you've got to keep living. So again, I just wanted to stop by to encourage you on today. I know how you feel. It hurts. But we're going to make it. You're going to make it. Just know that you are in my thoughts. You are in my prayers. I'm sending prayers, hugs, and thoughts to you wherever you are. All the way from North Carolina. And again, I just want to say... Happy Mother's Day. I wanted to make sure I uploaded this video very, very early Sunday morning, this morning, so that you would have it to look at and hopefully get some strength and some encouragement as you go throughout this day. Thank you so much for watching. I already look forward to you joining me again next time. You're going to make it. You're going to make it. You've got to. God bless you.